Welcome back to 30 Days of Lightroom. In this video, we're going to be talking about our HSL color tab, also known as Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. And we are here in Adobe Lightroom Classic, one of my favorite editing programs. So we're going to talk all about what Hue, Saturation, and Luminance does to our image, how we can use this to creatively color grade or color correct and manipulate colors in our image. And it's just an absolutely awesome and powerful tool when you use it properly. So in previous videos, we've covered the basic toning. We have done our basic toning with this image. We have covered our tone curve. You can see that in our tone curve video. We've made some minor edits and we have this image looking pretty darn good. I love this macro image of this flower. Now we're gonna do some color grading and some major color edits to this photo just to show you what the potential is and the power of this HSL color tab. So let's hop right into editing this photo. Let's start with hue. And you can see here we have all of our sliders. We can do this manually, but what's more fun is just like with our tone curve, we have our targeted adjustment tool where we can click and we can drag and we can adjust the hues of our image. And if we want to reset that, we played with the magenta hues, we can double click and reset. So let's click and drag these yellows. Let's make these yellows a little bit more green. That doesn't look very good. Let's make them a little bit more warm. That looks a little bit better. Add some orange to the image. These greens are a little dark. Maybe we'll click and drag, make them a slightly yellow. Doesn't look very good. Maybe we'll make them a little more bluish teal. That looks pretty good. And we have some very strong purple pink tones, which I like. Let's kind of play with those a little bit. We can make those a little more pink by dragging up. We can make them more blue, very teal by dragging down. That looks kind of cool, but it's a little bit kind of otherworldly and not very realistic. Let's go back to the pink. I think that looks pretty good. We have our little light switch here where we can turn it off. See the before? And then we can see our edits. I think that looks pretty cool. So we can play with our hues and do some massive or minor adjustments to our hues in our image. This is a great backup if you're working with your white balance and it just isn't working out for you. You can go in and edit individual tones and do some minor corrections or some massive corrections to your hues. So we've changed the colors of our image. Let's go to the saturation tab. And again, still using our targeted adjustment tool, we can go in and let's say our greens are a little bit too harsh here. We can turn down the saturation, take away some of those greens. We could add the greens by dragging up. Now something kind of important happened here and I wanna zoom in and show you guys. I'm gonna hit Z on the keyboard Gonna go over here and look at what happened. We have this very harsh edge here between our green and our kind of like purplish white here. And then again, between our greens, our purples and our kind of bluish magenta hues here. We turned up the green saturation all the way. You can absolutely break your image. And I use break as in you kind of create these harsh gradients where it should be smooth because this is a smooth out of focus area. You can break your image if you make too harsh of an adjustment or too massive of an adjustment. We turn this almost to 100. I'm going to click drag, turn that down because we just did too much of an adjustment. Same thing. If we were to turn these all the way up, you can see a very hard edge here, very hard edge here. It just doesn't look good. We'll zoom out. That looks really bad. You can see we Kind of have some harsh gradients where things should be smooth. I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that. I can also double click if I want to reset this. Or let's say, for example, here we made a whole bunch of edits to our image. We don't like it. I actually kind of do like that. But let's say we want to reset this entire saturation tab. Double click on saturation and that will reset your entire saturation tab. So for this image example, I'm gonna go in, I'm going to saturate these purples a little bit, turn down the greens a touch, turn up the blues and add a little more blue. That looks good. And I'm fairly happy with the way that looks. Again, we can turn our light switch off and on, and that looks pretty darn good. So hue again is how we manipulate what colors we're working with. 
saturation is how much of each of those colors, and luminance is another fun tab. Luminance is the brightness of each of these colors. So again, we can move our sliders. Be careful, you don't wanna break your image by going too far in either direction. Or again, I love our targeted adjustment tool. And we'll go ahead, turn up the brightness, turn down the brightness of our magentas. Again, you can very easily break your image, so be very careful. I'm gonna brighten up these greens. They're just a little too dark. And our blues look pretty good. So that is good for luminance. We can change again the brightness of individual colors and change our tones by using our hue as a selection. So that is really HSL. Again, we can turn it off and see the original and we can see our edits. We've added some nice colors. This almost looks like a painting. It has a very surrealistic vibe just by doing a touch of color grading to our image. So what exactly is the color tab? We can click color and we can go in and we can edit all of these colors individually. Now this is when we are working with a color image. Let's see what happens when we are working with a black and white image. Let's hit black and white in our basic toning tab. We'll scroll back down. We'll actually close this tab out. We can also hit V on the keyboard to go back and forth between color and black and white. And you can see here we can play with some of our tones, the brightness and darkness of our tones. You can see this turned from HSL color to black and white. And we will cover this more in our black and white video. But if you're wondering where your HSL tab disappeared to when you have a black and white image, it has turned to black and white. So you can change the tones by selecting the hues. You can also hit auto. Auto works okay some of the time. You can also do targeted adjustment tool. Remember our purples and magentas were there. We had some greens right here and you can edit your black and white image that way. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command Z a few times. We're gonna go back to our original image that we played with with our HSL tab here. And I am very happy with the way that turned out. Again, as I say in most videos, subtle edits make a huge difference. So be careful when you're editing your photos. You never want to over edit your photos. That's kind of an amateur move. Make sure that you're stepping away from your image every now and then to get some fresh eyes. Go grab a coffee, go take a nap, come back maybe a day later, relook at your image and make sure you have not over edited. I think we are right on the borderline right now of over editing this image. I might make some adjustments here. We're getting some harsh lines. Careful not to break your image, clipping any of your hues, anything like that. I may go ahead again, make some minor edits because we're borderline over editing this image. But if we wanna take a look at the raw before image, again, the completely raw file before our toning, and then adding that saturation and hues in there that looks great. I'm actually gonna turn down our overall saturation and vibrance just a touch. That looks much better again before by hitting backslash on the keyboard looking at our after, and I am very happy with this image. Again, that is our HSL tab here in Lightroom, hue, saturation, luminance, and color. So that is all for this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and watch every video in the 30 days of Lightroom series. The goal is for you to master Lightroom in 30 days. So be sure to share this video with a friend who's learning Lightroom. Of course, subscribe so you're seeing all of my videos. And until next time, get out and go shoot. Thank you.